So first video of the year. I'm actually starving. You you ain't starved. Ain't nothing about you starved. <laughs> I'm so much better than the majority of you. Hello. I will never copyright a reaction channel. I will never, ever strike down a compilation of me because I don't care. Can we believe this? It's 2017. 17, 2017, like. Who, what, when, where, how? Like, 17 years ago, it was 2000. I feel like it was just yesterday that it was 2000. I don't know, that's just me. What about you guys? <laughs> so everything just feels so different already in 2017. Oh, I mean, okay. Like the trees look different. The breeze feels different. The music is more better. Okay, anyways, literally every time it's a new year, I just feel like a new woman. And I start off being so motivated and like I'm gonna kick butt at life. And then somehow life decides to kick my butt. 474.2 pounds. 474.2 pounds. 472.2 pounds. 472.2 pounds. 472.4 pounds. 472.4 pounds. I know this angle is just so weird, but I just wanted to come on here and say Happy New Year's. I'm really sorry there wasn't a video yesterday. I got super, super sick and I had to go to the hospital. I was puking and having diarrhea about every three minutes. So we're finally putting our, the tree up, which is going to be very sad because it's going to be bare right here. We still have a few ornaments that we have to pick up off the ground, but oh my gosh, this is so depressing. It's been miserable. I'm still going to have a weigh-in for you guys. Today is the first. It was supposed to be super exciting. I was going to wake up and start this journey with you guys, my weight loss journey, and just it's a new year. It's 2018, and I wanted you know to start off on a good note, and it seems like I've really started off on a bad note. Okay, you guys, so here is the scale. So I am stepping on now, and how this one works is, once this stops, that's how much you weigh, obviously, so. Four eighty-eight point six. So there you guys go. My starting weight for this year is 488.6. January 2019 at 560 pounds. I'm doing a front shot, both sides, and a back shot. I want to use this to motivate me, to motivate others, and I am very embarrassed posting this, but I know I need to because I want to be able to come back on here and see changes. I will be posting them monthly. I want to wear the same exact outfit so I can get a better reading. Here we go. I haven't had this in, um, it's been a hot minute. And I also walk forward and I walk backwards <laughs> just to get an idea of where I'm at. So that was my weigh in for you guys. That is what I weighed at the beginning of this year. It has been so requested that I do a weight video and tell you guys what my weight was in the starting of this year. So there it is, 560. Very, very upset with myself because that is the highest I've ever weighed. January 1st, 2020. I love the sound of 2020. Just flows off your tongue very nicely. So this video is just gonna be me talking. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about some goals I have this year, some resolutions, just getting it all out there. So I have a little notebook of 
The things I want to talk about because I I, for, I literally forget what I want to say like majority of the time. So I know I asked you guys in the community post a couple days ago what you guys want from me January 1st. What type of video you want from me. It's January 1st and I didn't even upload a video. Every year is going to give, give people, you know, highs and lows. And I get very scared for the lows. Last night was a good time. I could have filmed it last night. But you guys, I had so much fun. I actually did drink. It's good time, good time. I really do believe that someone my size should not be drinking. But, you know, I made it. I made it to 2020. I want to just let loose a little bit. And I did. <laughs> I was laughing really hard. And my head hit this cabinet. I was like, ha! And we all had so much fun. I woke up super swollen, though, from the alcohol because I barely drank any water to, like, even kilter it. And my brain was, like, a little fuzzy when I woke up. But... You know that's fine you guys majority of the people said they wanted a weigh-in video they wanted a weight loss update i will be giving that to you guys when i'm ready i know a lot of people think that i'm trying to lose weight that you guys didn't know i gained or anything like that that's definitely not the case i'm just really trying to get to a point where i can step on the scale and be like see you guys i am serious about this and I want to say the month of December was kind of like... A rocky one because I definitely wasn't ready to step on the scale for you guys then. But I'm still losing weight. Like I'm not like in my highest weight at all. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. So I'm just going to get into resolutions because I have a few. So the first one is think more about college. I'm sure a lot of you know, I used to major in criminal justice and I didn't get to finish. I realized that criminal justice was no longer for me. So I never actually went back to college. I firmly believe that college is not for everyone. You don't need college to be successful in life. If you wanna to go to college, that's great. Do what you think is right for you. I always told myself, that I would never go back to college, but there are things that I am very interested in and that I have always been interested in. So this honestly makes me want to step out of my comfort zone and go back to college. I know exactly what I want to major in. It's something I've always loved and I just want to know more about it. People who get paid to pig out. So right now I'm working with Mars and UC Davis and I can taste anything between six to 12 pieces of chocolate a day. You can make anything between 35,000 and 55, 60,000. So that's something I really want to dive into. So that is on my like 2020 bucket list. So I want to journal daily. I want to read more. I want to write more, whether it be the story I'm working on, poems, just about my feelings. I really, really, really want to write more poems. I love poetry, huge passion of mine. Um, words just come out of me sometimes. I don't know why, I don't know how, but they do. I just have this very amazing gift. And I love just like freestyle poetry where you just get your feelings out. And then like what I do is I do it in a little note section on my iphone and then i forget that i did it and i like find it a month later and i'm like dang that's good boo boo rain and petals eavesdrop i used the wrong word rain and petals eavesdrop i used the wrong word rain and petals eavesdrop i used the wrong word my mental hygiene has been rotten and stirred so yeah i really really love writing so this one's kind of silly maybe not but i just want to pick up after myself more I have a bad habit of like, perfect example, here's a water bottle. I'll finish drinking it and I'll just set it on the table and without even thinking, it'll be there for like a full day. I'll wake up the next day and be like, oh, I left your water bottle on the table. You know, it's just simple things like that. I feel like add up. So I wanna try 
to not do that anymore and just pick up after myself a little bit more. I feel like it's very important. Hands down, it is going to happen. But I promise you, the year 2020, I will be cutting my hair because I just wear my hair like this all the time. I'll wash it, put it up. I won't brush it for like a few days. I don't take care of my hair like I used to and I almost don't know if I like my hair anymore, which is really sad because I used to love having long hair. My hair is like past my butt, super long, um, it's fried. I don't like that I've bleached the ends, like this was a while ago. I'm very sad that I've reached a point where I just feel like cutting a lot of it off is probably the way to go at this point. When that happens, gonna vlog it. When it happens, I will cry because I've had long hair for so long. It's almost like a comfort and it's just gonna be like a really big change when it does happen. So regarding my weight, as you guys know, my highest weight is 572.4. I have a goal weight that I want to be by the end of this year. I want to lose in total, which is part of what I've already lost. I want to be down in total 127.4 pounds, which will put me at 445. So I've already lost some of that 127.4, which I can't wait to, you know, share that with you guys, obviously. So yeah, I really want to reach 445 in this year. Welcome to the first video of 2021 so let me show you my food first and let's talk you guys i hope this setup is okay for now all right so talking i know you guys are probably like really the first video is a mukbang okay so this is a tofu and i don't know it's like a tofu situation um looks like that we also have some sushi, obviously. Oh, on top it says what it's called. Okay, so this is called a blue connie. I might be pronouncing it wrong. This is called a Hotel Cali. So this just has crab, um, cream cheese. There's some type of sauce. I don't know. We're going to try these together. Here we have some more, some more soy sauce. Um, okay, so we have, like I said, I pronounced things wrong. Ebai tamag, I'm pretty sure Ebai is this, it's just like um, shrimp or whatever with rice. Tamago, this is like egg, and this is a crunchy California roll thing. Some more sauce. We have wasabi, we have ginger, and that is it. Oh, it comes with this cute little like container moment. Oh, I truly cannot believe that it is 2021. Okay, well right now it's the 31st. That's why I'm like sparkly and glittery. I'm wearing this beautiful dress because it's New Year's Eve. So yeah. Um, it's just been so crazy Ugh. and it's like the fact that I was diagnosed with like cancer it's just all it's just too much okay so we're gonna do this one mm. Mm -mm -mm. starting in 2021 I want to have like a schedule I want to upload Monday Wednesday Friday this is what I want to do for now Fridays I want to be dedicated to food Mondays will be a weekly vlog Wednesdays will be a weight loss moment I figured why the heck not those are my three favorite videos to film mm. 
Toggle. I enjoy sitting down, eating, and talking. I will never order a meal strictly for a mukbang. This is something I would order already. I just wanted to say Happy New Year's Eve. Today is actually December 31st last day of 2021 and i'm just kind of like reflecting on the last year and i'm uh like <laughs> it's so crazy one year like i see quotes all the time where it's like one year can change you everything can change you know like those little cliche quotes y'all it'd be a hundred percent true like a year even just half of a year even just three months like literally can change you, can change the path of your life. And it's just so crazy. I just hope that 2022 holds. I hope I'm I hope I'm holding a special place in 2022's heart, is what I'm trying to say. Like, I want a good year. I'm ready for a good year. I'm ready to thrive. I have some goals that I really feel like I can obtain. I'm just like super excited for 2022. I love a new fresh moment. Like, I love Mondays because of that reason. I love the first of each month because of that reason. But the beginning of a new year, girl, like when you think of past things that happened, or at least for me, I'm going to speak for myself, I'm always like referencing the year. Like, oh, in 2006, blah, blah, blah. Oh, in 2017, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I want to reference 2022 as like, that's the year I got my shit together. So I figured for the new year, we will start weekly weigh-ins again. I will be filming my weigh-ins every Sunday. Well, I will be weighing in every Sunday. Um, today is definitely not Sunday. Sunday was on the 1st and today's the 4th. So I am behind on filming, but I do want to get this first weigh-in out so you guys know my starting weight for the new year. Regardless of when you guys see the video, I will be filming a weekly weigh-in is what I'm trying to say. And with the weekly weigh-in, I want to talk about, you know, how much weight I lost within the week or gained or if I stayed the same or how I'm doing. I'm going to go on Instagram before I film these videos and I am going to ask you guys to ask me or I'm going to suggest to you guys or give you guys the opportunity to ask me weight related questions. Why do you buy so many clothes at your current size if you want to lose weight? So this question confuses me because a lot of people think that the clothes that I buy is already too small. So if that is the case, then that means with tons of weight loss, I will still be able to wear the clothes that I am currently buying. Something I do notice about, you know, me gaining, losing, gaining, losing large chunks of weight. It's not like I'm just like gaining, losing the same 10 pounds. It's like large chunks of weight, which is really, really bad for your body, bad for your health, I know. But something I've noticed about it is that my clothes never change. Like my sizes never change, not really. So that is why I don't find any issue in buying clothes because the clothes that I wear now, I wore at my heaviest at 572, but I also wore at my low lowest at 466. So it's like, that's why it doesn't really matter to me. I think that once I get in the 300s, um, especially like mid 300s, that's when I need to slow my roll and be like, whoa, okay, your, your size has changed. But with the size that I am now, I have to lose like a drastic amount of weight for it to be noticeable within my clothing. So that is why I allow myself to still buy clothing. So why won't you show us your lip edema or lymphedema? I will not show that because it is something I'm very self-conscious about and I know the type of people who watch me. Like me just showing my face, I get called a moon, a sun, you know, people make fun of how I look, they make fun of my hair. And those are just like the simplistic things. Then people start making fun of my arms and my stomach, my abdomen, then we get into my legs. And that is where majority of my lipedema is. I do have it in my stomach and just the tiniest bit of my arms, but I do have it in those spots. And it's like, why would I want to put myself through that when I can barely even like go to the doctor and show them? Why would I want to 
show thousands of people online. You know, I've always been big. I've always been super morbidly obese, but I never had struggles. So we have a walk-in shower. Um, <laughs> the walk-in shower has, you know, okay. So there's two clear doors that are like this and they'll close like that. Okay. So this little space, once I open the door and move it over, there's this little space that you walk into the shower. I have gotten stuck before. Um, it hurts to get in the shower because it's such a small space that I have to walk into. To the average person, it's probably, you know, perfectly fine. Um, it's hard for me. Um, it scrapes my stomach when I get in. I have to, you know, suck in as hard as possible, but sometimes that doesn't even work. I'm able to get in, but it just hurts really bad because I'm literally like <gasps> scraping myself. And to me, that's one of the biggest struggles because my stomach is in the way. Like I never had any weight issues. I get up by using like the strength in my feet. <laughs> and my feet slipped from under me and I just went boom, like to the floor, like super loud. So the night before I landed on my left knee and then the next night I landed on my right knee. That's something I guess I'm, I'm lucky that I don't experience. Everyone has different goals. Everyone works differently. I am morbidly obese. I'm gigantic. I'm huge. I'm unhealthy. I'm proud of that within myself. Every day and every week, every month is just going to be a step closer to a healthier Newer, improved me. New year, new Amberlynn. Oh my god, it's such a joke. Bye! <laughs>